Now I've been sitting tying some small, small spider patterns. These are like the Murray's Blue Bottle Spider. It's like a wee green bottle spider. Uh, it's, this is simple flies and these both work extremely well in rivers and lochs. I like these in the lochs, uh, especially in the summer months. They're really good patterns. Now I like, it, I like to tie them on a light hook. Now this version here you'll like, it's quite fun. But it's a real good fly to tie. Now the hook I'm using is a Camasan. It's a B170 size 14. So, here's to get it onto the vise. Thread I'm going to be using, the uni thread, 8-0 in black. And just simply start at the eye of the hook. Come down about 2 or 3mm and then remove the vase piece. Now I'm going to protect the body with a this wire here, this is an extra small black wire by UTC, this one. Just to secure the body, make it last that wee tad longer. And to keep it thin, I'm tying it in at the moment. And we wind the thread down until just turn or two by the point of the hook. Now the body is this material here, this is a uni mylar and it's called peacock in orange. So what it is, it's a number 14, which is a medium set of tinsel. You get different colours, you get blue and red and so on. So this is the peacock and orange. You see peacock one side, and orange the other. It's quite simple. We start off with the peacock facing myself. And then we put in, say, five or six turns, the length of the small tag. And then that will give us about two turns of the orange, so just to get it started. Then we catch in the tinsel again, looking two to three turns, then pull it back and then carry one up with the, the thread, just tidying things up and then we come up on the peacock side. So we just twist it so it comes up on that side, just form our body, this point, cross your thread two or three turns in. You may have to hold the hook a wee bit there because I do put a lot of pressure in there. And then we do a straight turn at the back which protects the back of the, the body. And then just drop it four to five term, uh, times all the way up. Follow it with the thread, 9 degree bend into the wire. And then what I do is just wind the thread to the eye. Just bend and break away the wire. Keeping the thread tight, bring my thread back up, ready to tie on my body, eh, my hackle. The hackle I'm using is a dyed black, this is a Chinese neck, dyed black. You can get Indian necks, much the same, you can get them dyed black as well. Now what we do here, is catch the tip of the hackle with the hackle pliers, just draw back, offer it. Just tie it on the side, two turns down. Now this side I can see is the front of the hackle. The front of the hackle is what you can see, the front of the cape. This is the front I'm looking at. You'll see in the inside. And draw back the tip of the hackle, a couple of turns up. Slide your fingers back and there's the tip of the hackle. Now I usually keep the thread tight and so I break that off. It's really easy to do. Then Take my thread to the point where I'm going to catch in my hackle once I've wound it on. Hackle pliers on, much easier. And then we fold the fibres back. Front of the hackle is facing towards the eye. And then we do it. This hackle will get... It depends on how heavy you really want it. I want it about three turns anyway. So, happy with there. Just come up. Bring the tie off, just I usually like to put a 90 degree bend into the stem. Just take your time, just change your fingers. Keep the thread tight. Now I'm going to fold this back. For basically makes it last that much longer. Two or three turns over the top. Come up straight into a whack finish. Three turns is plenty. Tighten it by holding the eye of the hook, pulling the thread. You can trim away the thread. 
I usually break off the hackle, it's quite easy. It's well tied in. And there we are. There's just a wee peacock and orange spider. Uh, could be part. But a fun time, something you can experiment you can experiment with. Um, I'm just going to varnish the head all the way around. And there we are. Very simple. So I say, just change the body colours there. Have a silver body. You can put tails on them if you want it. It's up to yourself. But these are very popular flies, both on rivers and logs. So give them a go.